Hi everybody, today is January 22nd, 2013. Diablo Canyon Quake Safety, a key issue, and this comes from California. There is approximately 120 nuclear power plants here in the United States, and if there's ever a power outage for any length of time, the backup generators, if they work, are only for temporary, if they can get fuel. Something to think about if you're downwind from one of these nuclear power plants. America's top nuclear regulator said Wednesday that if anyone wants to supply to study in depth the offshore earthquake faults near PG&E Diablo Canyon power plant, there is no substitute for the environmentally destructive tests blocked by California officials in November. Allison McFarlane, chairwoman of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, emphasized that her agency had not asked Pacific Gas and Electricity Company to conduct those tests, nor would the test be required to extend Diablo Canyon's operating license from the commission. But the tests, which involve blasting the seabed with air guns that create intense sound waves, are the only way to study the fault lines several miles into rock, she said. Other methods, which PG&E has already used, only extend some hundreds of meters below the seabed. Oh yeah, let's create some more earthquakes so we can study the damage afterwards. That makes sense. This would take you further, said McFarlane, who holds a doctorate in geology, but evidently no common sense, from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. This would take you kilometers, which would be nice to know. So without this, you're just in more uncertain territory. PG&E has been under pressure from state officials to conduct more through seismic tests around Diablo, pressure that increases after the U.S. Geological Survey found another fault line near the plant four years ago. But in November, the California Coastal Commission blocked PG&E testing plan, citing the damage it could do to fit sea lion and rare types of porpoise living nearby. PG&E is part of this one world system to create havoc around the world and more wars. McFarlane made her comments in an interview with the Chronicle after touring Diablo Canyon and California's only other commercial nuclear plant, the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station in San Diego County. San Onofre shut down nearly a year ago following a small leak of radioactive steam. That leak was traced to prematurely worn tubes within the steam generator. Southern California Edison, which operates the plant, wants to restart the facility despite the objections from some neighbors and environmentalists who want to keep it closed. Our mission is to protect public health and safety, protect the environment, and we will carry out that mission there, she said. Right, it's all about money. PG&E had been seeking an extension of Diablo Canyon's operating license from the NRC, potentially extending the plant's life through 2045. But after the 2011 meltdown at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, PG&E asked the commission to place the renewal process on hold until the company could finish its seismic studies, which means blasting the seabed. And it probably was tests like that that created the Fukushima earthquake. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep everyone up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.